What is going on guys? Welcome to another training day. Um, we've got arms today. So I'm going to walk you guys through that. Um, we've got our pre-workout and our intro workout ready to go. That's that. We've got, I believe, a few supersets that we're going to be going through. We're going to be doing a bicep and a tricep movement. I got to get my... Uh, computer on here. We're going to be doing a bicep and a tricep movement um, back and forth, uh, I believe four rounds at each superset. You know, you do the bicep movement, the, then the tricep movement and take uh, about two minutes of rest um, and then go through that four times. I believe there's three different supersets that we're doing today. And then after that, I'm going to do some abs and that's going to be my day. So um, I'll see you guys when I get the first thing set up. All right, guys, so we've got our first two exercises set up. I've done a couple warm-up sets already. We've got 10 reps of the cross-body tricep cable extensions, and then we've got eight reps of the barbell curls with six partials at the end of it. Let's get it. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another video commentary. Here we are with arms our arm day. So this is a cross body cable tricep extension. When you're doing these, I highly recommend you squeeze at the bottom for about a two count, one, two, and then one, two, three, back up, okay? So two second hold at the bottom, three seconds on the way up, eccentric, and yeah, take your time with these. You're not going to be able to use a lot of weight if you do it right. Highly recommend you don't focus on chasing the weight. Don't really focus on progressive overloading with the weight. And if you do, it's going to be baby jumps, super small jumps. Like I'm, I'm doing curls here with 55 pounds. Like I know I can do way more than that, but what we are trying to do here is stimulate not annihilate, as the great Lee Haney once said. Same thing for biceps. We're squeezing for a two second count at the top and then three seconds on the way down. It's pretty quick too, but you, you see what I'm saying. Also, something worth noting. Look at my elbow positioning with uh, relation to the bar. It is always behind the bar. When you get to the top, when we get back to doing the full reps, when you get to the top, make sure that your elbows are behind the bar. Woo. And that's a set, that's one round. We're doing four rounds of those. Now we're not going as heavy as possible. We wanna focus on using a lightweight, squeezing it, making it as hard as possible. Because I find going heavy with these kinds of exercises are just gonna beat up your tendons, gonna cause some tendonitis. We get enough heavy weight movement going on with our elbow joints when we're doing pressing movements and back movements. So we try to keep things lighter and move slower with more intent to stress the muscle, to create more muscular tension to help create that hypertrophy we're looking for. By the way, guys, check it out. Jim is chilling on the ground there, and it is his birthday today. He is two years old. If you could read what his little scarf says, it says birthday boy, I think. <laughs> but yeah, he is two years old. And if you're curious about him, he is a purebred Shikoku dog. Um, a Shikoku is very similar to the Shiba Inu. They are both from Japan. Uh, they're not a mix of anything. Uh, Shikoku is its own breed, originated on the island of Shikoku, Japan. Um, if you Google Shikoku, that's what, that's what will pop up immediately. Um, but he, uh, yeah, he is the best. Anyways, um, I bring him to the gym with me most days now um, because he can handle it. Um, he used to really hate going to the gym with me. It was, it was, uh, it was kind of a pain in the ass as he was just not comfortable being there. He'd always be running around, barking, crying, and now he's pretty chill. Um, we were here for about six hours 
today from nine to three and he was just chilling with me. So, um, so anyways, leave a comment for Jim and the algorithm. Wish him a happy birthday. We're going to go out uh, tonight with him to a little play place and uh, let him run around on some uh, agility things that the really smart dogs do. So anyways, back to the workout. Um, yeah, we are getting a nasty pump in this workout. This is the last round here. I only filmed, uh, I believe, the first two and then the last one. Um, yeah, guys, uh, focus, focus, focus on control. Control, you must learn control. <laughs> uh, I'm a nerd. Okay, um, anyways, <laughs> with these uh, tricep extensions also, um, there's nothing wrong with letting your elbows kind of come out to the side. Actually, there's something about that. The higher that you let your elbows go out to the sides, uh, the more that um, long head of the tricep is going to get hit. So that's just a little tip if you want to tweak that just a tad. Um, but going back over to this bicep curl with the barbell, um, next time I do these, I actually have uh, an easy bar on the way. Um, but that's beside the point look at where my elbow positioning positioning is look how far back behind the bar they are that means there's tension at the top so many of you guys i see you throw your elbows forward and then there's no tension on the bicep anymore you're just squeezing nothing you're squeezing weightless you might as well set the bar down and just flex your biceps does no good that's not what we're doing those for so keep your elbows back so there's constant tension on your biceps and squeeze through that. So this is the first superset completed. I dare you to give it a try. Mix it in with your other stuff. Maybe even do this whole routine. Let's see what's next. So that's it for our first superset. Next up, we're going to be on our Atlantis machine. Tricep press, it's kind of like a dip machine but it's it's for pressing like a decline like tricep pressing that's what it's called so we're gonna do our tricep press machine and we're gonna superset that with a dumbbell hammer curl to work that brachial radialis in there tricep press we're going for 12 to 15 reps for the dumbbell hammer curls we're going for six reps with six partials after it four rounds total let's go all right, so we are getting on the Atlantis tricep press machine. As I said, this is a kind of a dip machine, a, a decline type machine, um, depending on where you grip it. You know, if you grip on the uh, parallel bars, that's going to be more of a dip, more for your triceps. If you put your hands out on the, um, I guess, flat bars out in front, then you're going to be able to do more of a decline press uh, with this thing. Um, yeah, this, uh, this movement is, is very nice. This is mostly for, um, the short head of the tricep, that little bit that's down there by your elbow. Um, yeah, that's, that's what's, uh, mainly working our lockout position. Um, you know, if you don't have this kind of machine, you could probably replace this with like a close grip bench press if you wanted to. Um, or like a pin press, something like that, uh, because that's what we're primarily working on there is the lockout position. And then here we've got the dumbbell hammer curls. Now you can do these one arm at a time if you would like. If you do them one arm at a time though, I recommend doing all of your reps on one side and then all of your reps on the other. I don't like alternating, it, it just, it, it makes the set go so long because when one arm's going, the other arm's resting, and then it's like you can rep all day almost, and I just, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. So if you're going to do these one arm at a time, do them all on one side, then all on the other. That way you're just going to get a straight, sick-ass pump for both arms instead of a mediocre, awkward one on each. So 
Back to the tricep press. Like I said, you could absolutely replace this machine if you don't have this with something like a close grip bench press or um, a pin press out of a rack, you know, doing just like the last little bit of your bench press or, or close grip bench press. Um, because that's that's what we're trying to focus on here. I don't know if I would go for a straight up dip. Personally, I, I'm not too much of a fan of dips. I feel like they do more harm to my elbows than anything because at, at this point where I'm at, you know, I, I'm I was 257 pounds this morning here. It's hard. It's it's hard for me to to get in that position you know, in a comfortable position and press my, my body weight. So, um, so yeah, I, I really like that option. That's, that's the main reason that I bought that machine and it, it's serving its purpose. Absolutely. Okay. We are back to the dumbbell hammer curls and remember, you know, same thing that I said about the bicep, the, the, the barbell curls, keep your elbows back, keep your elbows back behind you. That way there's constant tension going on there whoo i can tell he's uh, i am burnt at that point um and that i believe was the last set so let's see what's next okay guys done with that super set my arms are fucking fried we got one more super set group to go it's going to be a cable overhead tricep extension and then a reverse grip barbell curl let's do it all right here we are on the last superset um yeah overhead tricep extensions i prefer this 100 percent versus the skull crushers that everybody loves um skull crushers fuck my elbows up uh, I, anybody that has ever come to me talking about tricep pain, elbow pain, that's the first thing I ask them is, do you do skull crushers? And I feel like every freaking time they say, yeah, I do. And that's like their favorite tricep exercise. And I don't know why this is still going on. <laughs> we have got to get rid of the skull crusher. Do not do skull crushers. Veto the skull crusher. Overhead cable tricep extensions. These are safe. These are comfortable on the elbows. These are comfortable on the triceps, especially when you don't have a fixed bar. Like that's why I use that. Uh, that's actually Mark Bell's uh, shake strap. It's stretchy. I'm able to move my arms any direction that I want and I get no impingements, no issues and my elbows feel great. So um, yeah, drop drop the skull crushers do overhead cable tricep extensions here we are on the reverse curls reverse grip curls and that is a 15 pound training bar <laughs> with five pounds on each side so we've been doing these with 25 pounds my arms are blown the hell up these hurt like hell <laughs> It doesn't take much, especially when you're this this deep into the workout. Um, yeah, it really doesn't take much. So let's see. Back to these overhead tricep extensions. You want to get a squeeze at the top. I'm squeezing and like pushing my hands away from each other, creating a little more tension there. Um, at, at the top of the position and then doing a three count on the way down. Uh, when I'm doing reps, I'm constantly just counting numbers to keep my tempo as proper as possible. I go one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Like I'm, I'm, that's, that's how I count. And somehow I'll throw in what rep number I'm in in the middle of those and just keep on going at it. Um, yeah pay attention to your tempo excuse that squeaking noise if you have dogs uh, i hope they are paying attention um jim's playing with his toys but anyways the reverse barbell curl elbows stay back elbows stay back 
I would, I, I was doing a squeeze at the top of these, but these got so freaking hard, like so painful at the top. I, I just couldn't do it anymore. So this is, this is where we progressive overload on these. We get better form, you know? Maybe next time I'll use the same weight and be able to hold for a two second count at the top, you know? We don't, we don't want to chase weights on this. We don't want to try to increase the weight dramatically on these. Improve what you're doing by improving your form. Pay attention to your form. Pay attention to your tempo. That's it. All right. Arms are spent. Woo. Was you wondering why I wear a belt? So hold my fat gut in. <laughs> okay. The thing I think that a lot of people miss out when it comes to arms and the pump, it's not necessarily the workout. It's more about everything that you're doing outside of that. Like, if you're not getting a good pump on your workouts, it probably has a whole lot more to do with the fact that your nutrition is poor, you're not eating enough carbohydrates, or you're very deep into a diet, you know, it, that can tend to happen. Or you bulked for entirely too long, the carbs are not going into the muscle. I get a disgusting pump, probably because I'm on a shitload of growth hormone and other drugs, but I do also eat a shitload of carbs the day of, the day before, every day. But I am dieting currently, I am cutting. So I'm still in a deficit. I'm not that deep into a cut, you know, like I've got a long ways to go. I got a lot of body fat left to lose. Um, so there might be a point where I feel a lot more flat and I don't get quite as good of a pump, but you know, that's, that's a whole other story. Other things to help enhance your workouts. Mediform hyaluronic acid is an amazing product to use, especially when you're in a deficit, especially when you're dieting. Check the links below for my Mediform code. So that's that, we're gonna move on to abs now. So the way we do abs is we pick a lower ab movement and then we pick an upper ab movement and we do four sets of each. The rep goal is between 15 and 25 reps. I would like to be able to do a hanging leg raise today, but I don't know if my arms are gonna be able to hold me up to do them, but we're gonna give it a shot. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with hanging leg raises. If those don't work out, I'm gonna get into my leg raise machine over there where I don't have to hold myself up. But I did those last time, so I, I like to switch them up a little bit. Isn't it mandatory you gotta do abs with your shirt off? Rewatching this back, I regret taking my shirt off. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm definitely a lot further along than I was uh, three months ago. That's for damn sure. Um, I would not have been doing this for you guys three months ago. That's why I didn't do this for you guys three months ago. Because uh, I was not in any bit of a remotely fit place. And now I somewhat am. So uh, take it or leave it. I had to put my feet down on all those. I can feel my hands slipping on each one, so. Still definitely, definitely felt them. Oh, man, my arms are freaking pumped though. Anyways, that was set one. We got three to go. Okay guys, so I did two more sets. I'm on my last set. Um, last two sets, I only got 10. Uh, and I feel like a lot of it is my grip um, giving out, but the other part of it is I'm just fat and out of shape. So <laughs> we've got one more, you know, we got room to improve on these. Uh, that's, that's key. We've got room to improve, but we've got one more set. Um, hopefully I can get 10 again. So we'll see what happens. So progressive overloading with these would be just getting more reps, especially for me at this point. Um, the other thing would be not bending my knees. The other thing would be not touching the floor. There's so many ways that I can improve these. Um, and I probably won't hit these for another three or so ad days. So, yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god. That's bad, guys. I got eight. And they were ugly. <sighs> Whatever, all right? So we got eight. Um, we'll do better next time. We'll get them next time. <laughs> um, so, we got eight. Um, next, the second uh, ab exercise that we're gonna do is a cable crunch. This is one of my favorites. So I'm gonna bring you guys down here to the floor so you can get a good angle on what these look like. All right, guys, we are on the last exercise here. This is a cable crunch. And a lot of people do these wrong. I see these done wrong all the time. What you want to focus on is taking your chest, the bottom of your chest, to your crotch. That's where you're going. And if you do it right, it'll look like this. You're not supposed to be driving your elbows down to the floor. That's not the idea or taking your el elbows to your knees. That's just a bunch of hip flexor. That's a bunch of rectus femoris. Like that's your legs getting involved with that. That's not what we're going for here. We want abs, nothing but straight abs doing the work. So our spine should be the only thing moving here. And uh, as you can see, my abs are working their ass off right now. Somebody was ringing the doorbell. I don't know who, I didn't go answer it. Fuck them, this is a private gym, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, you really, it's not when you do these right, it's a very focused, controlled movement. And you can see my spine is the only thing bending here. That's the only thing bending, the spine, curls over and then it arches back up. And then Jim sniffs my butt. What a bastard. <laughs> but uh, yeah, don't mess these up. Don't do a big dumb range of motion. Don't take your face to the floor. These gym floors are dirty. Not mine, but most are. He's such a good boy. Well, there you have it guys. That is the arms and ab routine um i hope you all enjoyed it uh, i hope you enjoy these videos i hope you use them i hope you try some of these workouts try some of these routines let me know how they go thank you so much for your support thank you for watching remember nobody cares train harder and i will see you all in the next video